Tell me, Ed, what happened here during the war? Doesn't look like the city took any direct hits. So why is it in such a state? Yeah, there were no direct hits. The warheads fell into the sea, all in a neat little line. My sub didn't even shoot. All the targets were destroyed without our care. We called the base for orders, but there was no reply. The base was hit naturally, so we sailed here. That's where the HQ was. When we reached the city, we couldn't recognize it. It was even worse back then, of course. Just the smell alone. There were very few survivors, and frankly, we were surprised to find any. We picked them up from the roofs, organized somehow, and ended up settling in the dock. The place ended up pretty cozy. At least we had no problem with electricity, with the reactors running. And by the time they ran out of fuel, we had a floating power station ready. All this luxury ended up generating rumors. So the bandits started coming by to check us out. Finally, one day Tom arrives with an offer of uniting our forces and setting up an effective defense perimeter. Mm, that bastard. Sniper, get down! <coughs> Did he get you? I'm fine. Keep your head down. Looks like we're safe. Did you see where he's shooting from? I'll handle the sniper. You the stay water. here. Are you sure? Go get him then. Freaks around.
Easy, easy, man. I give up. No, I, I see you are serious people going about your business. So I, I won't give you any trouble anymore. Ed, Sam here. Sniper neutralized. I could definitely use. So, did he give you any trouble? Nika kich problem. Yet, who were those guys? Ah, these are the bandits I told you about. They came to make a profit by robbing our settlement at the dock, but it didn't pan out. I must give credit where credit is due. That bastard Tom did bolster the defenses all right. These losers have long since stopped raiding. A few years back, they made one last attempt. Klim gave them a lesson. They were so terrified, they didn't even cut down bodies of their hanged pals all over the ruins. They couldn't raid and didn't have a place to go. So they turn to trapping. They catch mutants in the ruins. Those human-like ones. Their beasts are dumb and shrewd, but strong. Quite good for dragging carts or boats on the rivers, turning wheels and stuff. They don't eat much either, so using them lets you save a bunch of fuel. So the bandits catch them, train them a little, and then sail them off to traders. Those come from the south a couple of times a month. They pay in weapons, ammo, rice, all the things you need for a decent life in the wild. <laughs> they visit the settlement too, mostly buying restored generators, engines, and other machines. Our maintenance guys are real wizards after all. Oh, and dried fish too. So that's the region's economy in a nutshell. <laughs> But why did those trappers shoot at us? The whole city is divided between them. It took a lot of fighting to define those borders. So now they open fire at anyone approaching without proper insignia. Got it. Turf Wars, the primeval edition. <laughs> you got it. All right, we're here, Sam. Let's move this thing and I'll show you my backup base. Cool. So, care to tell me the essence of Tom's offer? It's simple. He offers to leave you the settlement along with everyone who won't follow him. How generous. And what does he want? He wants you to deliver fuel rods for the submarine. <laughs> Come on in, sir. Don't worry, the lift's fine. My friends and I took our time preparing this base. There's a generator on the roof. The staircase is just an emergency exit. Too many foggies in the lower floors. So the lift's no luxury. Just have to keep that generator going. So, the guys didn't get caught back then, after all. Or if they did, they wouldn't talk. What guys? When Tom had shown his true colors, my closest friends and I decided to refuel this soul and take her to sea. The plan was strictly need to know. Only Alex, my XO, and Alex Second, the torpedo officer, and Volodya, the life support guy were in. They left to recon the field and stayed in contact for two weeks. They found the fuel. And we arranged for me to pick them up in the night. But it was Klim's people who met me there. I barely escaped. Do you think they were captured? I don't know. But seeing Klim's people there was hardly a coincidence. Yeah. And 
We're there. Come on in, sir. Make yourself at home, Sam. Take a rest. There's a storm outside anyway. Tell me, Sam. What's your angle in all this mess? I just want to go home, Ed. Nothing more. And Tom said he'd give me a lift. Before starting the nuclear war all over again. Or after. Sam, the sob is a terrible weapon. A weapon that was entrusted to me to protect my country. Not to be used in pirate raids or even something as noble as creating the kingdom of heaven on earth. Can you see that? <laughs> I didn't use it in the last war, so could anybody have any right to use it in any capacity now, when we're barely surviving after that one? Ed, Tom is a reasonable man. I don't think he'd go so far as... Tom is, first and foremost, a businessman. And he will get what he wants, one way or another. Can't you see that his offer to let those who wouldn't follow him go is a threat? What is going to happen to them should I choose not to bring him the fuel? I think you're being too negative here, really. Okay, let's do it this way. I ring him up, you talk to him directly. Fine by me. Tom, Sam here. The captain agrees to talk. Perfect, Edward. I'll be brief. I need those fuel rods and you know that. You want your settlement, your people, and your power back. And I'm ready to offer you just that. As soon as those reactors are refueled, my people and I will leave and never bother you again. You don't believe I'll never use the nukes, but you'll just have to take my word on that. You know I can keep it. You've kept it so far, if we stretch the definition. But that's besides the point. Even if I believe you, I don't believe Klim. Did he tell you the free bandits are working for him? What makes you say so? I have no proof. But the friends I left with went missing. Did he tell you anything about them? He said he was looking for them. I had my doubts for quite some time already. And now they're solidifying. Bolivar cannot carry double any longer. Once the fuel is here, Clint will be taken care of. Anything else? No, just that. Then we have a deal. We do, Tom. I know I'm going to regret this, but we do. Thank you for trusting him. Sam, I don't trust him. Not even for a second. No matter what he says, I can't trust him. But... But you have no choice. Exactly. I really don't have a choice here. Ah, damn. The generator's out again. Let's go check it. Before we go, let's do something about my knee. It is swelling up already. Mm. Sure thing, Ed. Do you have anything for the pain? I don't drink, really, but I do have a crate of Molotovs. Their moonshine and fish oil should do the trick. I wish we had some food to chase the drink down with, though. Here. Wow, that's a nice surprise. All right, no point in putting it off any longer now. Cheers. <sighs> Not so bad. <laughs> Here. You have some too. 
Are you sure? Yes, I am. Uh, come on. Let's get it going. Hold on to your hat. Oh, you said it. Oh, I don't think it worked. Let me catch my breath. And get one for yourself, too. Cheers. <laughs> oh, still awful. Okay. Pull again. Put your back into it. All right. Pulling. Ah. Ah, damn. That was awful. Thanks for the leg. I feel better already. Cheers. Cheers. I say, let's not go anywhere tonight. Mm. Not oh. bad at all. <sighs> okay, let's go check the janitor. Are you sure? <laughs> When my axle bursts seen and shouts, where the hell is my death machine? I think I got this. Pull that lever, Sam. <laughs> Shit, I ain't got it. Huh? You hear that? What, the music? But we heard some music. Amen to that. Hey, you, what the f Okay, let me fix this. I definitely got it now. Start it, sir. <laughs> now we're talking. Let them realize. The Ed! By the way, care to tell me your story? Are you sure? Come on, sir. Unwind. Sure. Why not? When we buried the Colonel, I just knew I had to leave. I just knew Dad I was waiting. Thanks for telling me, son. We were on the ropes by then, and had to take the deal. And that bastard wants to save the world? Bah! He's going to become a pirate with nukes, and that's it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't think it's quite like that. He has ideas. Telling you, Sam, you're a nice guy. <sighs> I don't know. He's not a madman, Ed. I know, but still, uh, to hell with him. Let's drink. <sighs> Come on, Sam. But you lack respect. Respect of your elders. <laughs> ah, and, I mean, why aren't you drinking? Hey, Ed! <laughs> I'm here! You are there too? Weird. I, I need a drink. 
Drinking. You're not blind, you're sleeping face down. And stop shouting. Oh, my head. Oh. <laughs> oh, my head. That's why I don't drink. Oh. oh, it's terrible. But I feel better now. <sighs> Here, finish this. It will help a bit. Okay, if you say so. <clears throat> okay, while you're recovering, let's go back to the conversation we had yesterday. I do know where that fuel is, and it's not even that far. In an underground submarine base. The tunnels are half flooded, but still accessible. The entrance is in the Naval HQ building. Radiation's off the charts there, though. So I wouldn't even try without a protective suit. This building used to be a fire department, and I know they had some suits in case of an accident with one of the swords. Now the place is overrun by bandits, so it's not going to be a walk in the park, I guess. Think you can handle it? Okay. I guess some fresh air will do me good. I'll go get those suits. Thank you, Sam. I'll be getting ready here, too. Oh, you should take the stairs. Down there and through the door. Oh, I almost forgot. While going downstairs, could you reload the traps? The mutants do visit this place from time to time. I'll try to, Ed. There is one Molotov left. Take it. There are many dead bandits on the lower floor. You should have the materials for more if you need any.
knock. Niplocha. Gotta do it. Had a show.
the fucker that killed Gorsh! <laughs> You're going to pay for killing our pal, you bitch! Come and get it! I wonder if anyone's coming to avenge these jokers. Scratch one mine. Send you? He, my so-called brother. He couldn't get me to give up, so he sends a hitman. I'm no hitman. You, you're not? Well, sorry for jumping to conclusion. It's my brother's fault. I wouldn't put it past him. It's because of him I'm hiding in this dump, eating overgrown lice. Oh, shut up, you damn beast! Can't wait to be roasted! Shut up! Piece of shit! Just like that brother of mine. He wants to take my car dealership. Well, my share in it. Car dealership? The Kovshinov brothers. Right to drive. What? Haven't you heard of it? You must be new in town. Everybody knows us. We deal in used cars from Japan. Quality ones. We started from scratch against all odds. 
But once we get the business going, that bastard decided to fuck me over. I arrived at the office one day, and there's a new guard. And he won't let me in. He took all I had. Some trouble he is. As Yella, our accountant, was right. I should never have trusted him. Never! He brought it all down. Destroyed it all. Um, but the war. Ah, who cares? My brother fucked me over. Don't you see? <laughs> but I have a plan. You need to get inside our dealership. Get the incorporation documents from the safe box and bring them to me. Then I'll have proof. I'm not going to let him die a beggar, of course. He's a brother, after all. I'm not like him. But I will pull his poison teeth out. I will. Will you help me? You just need to get that bastard, my brother, to spill his half of the code. We only knew half each to show it was our joint effort. We were stupid. I was stupid. Stupid. Only Angela knew the whole code. Get his half of the code. Open the safe box and bring me the documents. You will do it, won't you? Look, my half of the code is this. One, two, three, four. Huh. What? Ah, no matter. Go, go now. I will wait for you here. Oh, the shit, Show him! Now you see. Oh, now you see. You will. <laughs> the dealership is mine. Mine. You're right there. <laughs> the thing is, the guys have been thinking. While these two are together... What? How did you... Who the hell are you? Name's Sam. I'm working for Tom. Ah, I know you. I saw you there. So, you are second American, huh? Ah, I heard you were supposed to be around. Well, come here. We'll show you what's what. We aren't called scouts for nothing after all. First of all, beware of the bat wing roaming about. We haven't seen it, just heard it. And judging by its shouts, it's huge and angry as hell. And probably it's wounded. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Next, where did you need to go? To the fire depot. You can see it from here. The red building with a tower. It's about half a click from here as the crow flies. Right. But you don't look like a crow. It's close. But it's gonna be hard to get there. <laughs> yeah, crows have it easy in these parts. Look, that unfinished building from before the war. You need to go through it. That's the only way to the upper bog where the fire depot is right now. There's a gang that set up shop there, though. They used to do some slave trade. But lately they switched to the latest thing and started catching those human-like mutants. Can you imagine that? 
We've been at odds with them since forever. And anyway, they never like strangers. They're sure to open fire as soon as they see you. Don't expect a warning. So, try to remain unseen. Thank you. I will. What else have we got here? Ah, here. Look this way now. See that two-storied tower-like building on that islet? It used to be a police post before the war. Now it's taken over by a gang, too. Complete mad lads. Though they're busy catching the Fuglies now, like the others. That business is on the rise over here, you know? What they have there is a warehouse of sorts. So there should be some good loot there. <laughs> that little islet supposedly houses a cache of sorts. A few years back, a new gang appeared in this town. Those were some crazy bastards, but they were good. They went and demanded tributes from gangs thrice their numbers, and murdered everyone who didn't pay up. They had training, spitznots like They also had gear, like in the movies, armor, guns. Each of them had night vision, too. <laughs> they had a good run, ended up controlling a huge swath of the ruins, even with their numbers. Then the other gangs decided they had enough, got together and smashed them completely. So all that remains of them today are their caches marked by their sign. A skull wearing night vision goggles. So watch out for those. Why? I bet all those places were looted long ago. I wouldn't be so sure. Those guys were real show-offs. Each of their caches is like a puzzle box. The chosen ones in the know are supposed to get it. While random Joes like us are not. Huh. The boys did find hidden buttons opening doors a couple of times. But all through sheer luck, they never got the principle. Perhaps you'll get it, after looking at the situation with your unbiased American eye. <laughs> I might. You forgot the Fuglies. Ah, yes. Watch out on that islet with the cash. The Fuglies are especially large and tough there. I've no idea why, and I don't care. But these large ones are in demand, so the hunters don't clear them out. They just catch a couple from time to time and leave the rest to repopulate. Got it. So that's about it. We've been told to observe and render assistance if needed. We told you what we know. That should count. Thanks, guys. Good luck. See ya! Thank mm -hmm. you.